it's Paulina here at Tanami Design and today I'm going to be doing a video showing you how to create a card from start to finish. I was inspired by the current Denami Attic Challenge and I wanted to participate so I pulled out some of the new stamps that we have and I created this little card. So this card features both new and old stamps. This new sailing ship and the sentiment you're off the hook are our new stamps that we released at the beginning of the month. Um, they are both clean. And then all the other stamps that I have featured here are our wood mounted stamps. So it's just a really cute card. It's great for all occasions and um, I went with more of a boy theme as I tend to have a harder time creating cards for guys. So I thought this was a good challenge and I really liked the sketch. So let's get started on the card. For our card base, I'm using a piece of brown craft cardstock, and I just cut it down slightly. It measures five and a quarter by eight, so it's just a little bit smaller than an A2 size card. And we're just gonna lay this down, and then I'm going to be using the Basic Borders Cling Set, and I'm going to be using this one here. It's just the solid stripes. And then for my ink choice, I'm going to be using the Rich Cocoa Memento ink. And so I'm just going to ink this stamp up. And we're just going to go all the way across the card. Okay, so there is the background that we have. And then next we're going to be creating our focal point piece. So I have here a piece of cream cardstock, and this one measures three and a half by four and a half. And I'm going to be using a few different inks for this one. I'm going to be using the Majestic Blue VersaFine ink, along with the Spanish Moss VersaFine, and then um, we're going to be using the Rich Cocoa again. So I'm just gonna be opening up all of these. And for our the very first part, I'm going to be using this set here, which is the PF40, the nautical, and I'm going to be using this little compass stamp. I'm gonna be stamping that one in the blue, and we're going to be doing it in the corner. And I'm going to make sure I have a little bit of space because we're going to be tearing the edges of the paper. So there's that. And then next I'm going to go ahead and grab my C62 Small Solid Palm Trees. It's this one here. And then we're going to be using the Spanish Moss. So I can set aside the blue now. And then we're just going to stamp this just in random places on this background paper. Okay, so there's that one there. And then for our last piece, we're going to be using the A96 Tweety Bird Footprints. And this one I can just stamp all over. We can make kind of little footprint designs. Now this design might be a little bit familiar to some of you who've gone to our website. Um, Rebecca did a really cute card that used the same kind of idea. So I kind of pulled from that and then added some of the new designs and changed it up just slightly. So, so if you have the, those stamps, this is just another way you can use them. Okay, so there's just our random background there. And then now we're going to be tearing our edges. So if this is new to you, it's really easy. You just, just make little tiny tears. And this kind of gives it a more distressed look and it's great for um, guy cards and it kind of goes with just that rugged outdoorsy theme that we have for this card. So I'm just making slight little tear marks.
And if you have actually a distressing tool, if you prefer that, that's easy to do too. Um, just this tearing one is just an easy and cheap alternative. Don't want to tear too much, so I'm just trying to do little pieces. Okay, so we're going to set all this aside now. And then for the just the bottom part, I'm going to add our stitched border. It just kind of added a little bit more to the card, I thought. So it's the N130 stitched border. And I'm just going to stamp that just right across the bottom here. Okay, so that just kind of adds a little bit more to the card. Now we're going to grab a piece of clean paper. Okay, and we can start to layer our actual card together. So I'm going to get the pieces that I pre-cut. I have a piece of chocolate brown cardstock. This one measures one and a quarter by five. And then this just olive piece of cardstock that I have, it's one and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to do the olive one first. So I'm just going to get my ATG. And then we're going to do the brown piece of cardstock now. And we're just going to make sure there's just a little bit of space in between the top and the bottom. Okay, now we have this piece here, and I'm going to get my foam mounting tape, and I'm going to just flip this over, and we're going to double stack this one, so I'm just going to quickly rip off pieces, and we're going to layer another piece right on top of the ones we already did. This just gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay, and now we can just adhere it to the card. Okay, now. And now we just have a few more elements left in this card. So I'm going to get my piece of cream card stock. This one measures 3 fourths by 2 and 3 fourths. And I'm going to get the new sentiment that we have, the CLF227, you're off the hook. And I'm just going to stamp that right on the cream. So I'm just going to stamp that in the rich cocoa. And then if you wanted to add a little bit more, um, just a dimension to that look of this, I'm going to just get my Spanish moss versifying and just go across the edge of the card. And I'll just add a little bit more distressed and show a little variation in the card. And you can also do that if you wanted to the pieces over here. For this one, I just opted out. Okay, so we're going to set the sentiment aside. And then now we're going to get our sailing ship, which is this one here. And then our pirate chicky, which is C84. So I'm going to stamp both of them on a piece of clean cardstock. And we're going to use the rich cocoa again for both of them. Okay, and then now we can quickly color them in. I'm going to use just a pale yellow for the pirate chicky. Then we're going to outline him in a little bit brighter orange. And we'll do a little, let's see, a light, kind of a tan color for his hat. And we'll use that same tan color for the ship. And we'll use it just a little 
darker shade and we'll just line this Then I have a blue here, and we're just going to color this in. Okay, perfect. And now we just need to cut these pieces out. So I have a pair of just of small little scissors. I'm just going to cut them out really quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so those are little elements there. And then now we're going to adhere everything together. So I'm going to zoom in just a slight bit. And then we're going to put down our sentiment first. So I have this one, and I'm going to just use the ATG just right on the back of the cardstock piece. And then we'll just adhere it right where we want it. And then next I'm going to get the new elements that we just created and I'm going to use some foam mounting tape for those ones. And the little pirate guy. Okay. So there is the card, and then now I'm just going to add just a teeny bit of glitter. I'm going to use the Citron Glitter, and it's just a, a yellow glitter that looks really great on the chicky. So I'm going to add it just to the edges, and then I'm just going to just add a couple little elements to some of the palm trees, just to add a little bit more sparkle to it. I'm just going to sprinkle this just across the card and just lightly tap. You can see just a little bit of a little bit of sparkle there. I'll add just a little bit more touches just so there's a little bit more glitter there. Okay, and then now I'm just going to put the excess back into the jar, and then we'll save it for next time. Okay, so you can see here, here's the finished card. It's really quick and simple. It's really cute, and um, you can have it finished there. Um, like I said, you can ink distress the edges before you lay this one down. And just for one final little touch, I'm going to get my Versa Mark, and this is just a water mark kind of an ink, and I'm just going to do that to the side. So it's just going to add just a little bit of like an ink distressed look on the edges. You'd see that there. It's just slight, just kind of warms the card up a little bit. So I'm just running the whole thing just right across it. And the reason that I did this after the glitter is if I did it before the glitter, then the glitter would stick to this wet ink. So I learned my lesson and I did the glitter first and then we just add this to the edges. And then from there you'll just let it dry and then it'd be ready to send out. So there's our really quick and simple, cute guy card. Um, it's just a fun little punny sentiment that works well and um, just uses the new sailing ship with the pirate chickie and just has a lot of fun elements. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.